So this week, question number six deals with how um, the articles of Brown, McCormick, and Efros dealt with the Pyrene thesis. And um, this was kind of a fun thing to look at because the Pyrene thesis I hadn't been exposed to before. And so it was interesting to see how other scholars looked at it because it is look it is a thesis that logistically makes sense, but takes quite a different route to get to its conclusion um, than other works. So um, kind of the overarching theme of all of these articles is they're not denying the thesis outright, but they are skeptical. Uh, what I liked about all three of these authors is that they did give the thesis the respect it deserves, um, and they gave it a rightful place in history as well. Um, even the ones who disagreed with it the most still said historiographically it, it's an important thing to the field. Um, so the overarching theme really is skepticism, but not a complete denial of the thesis. Um, the McCormick article brought up um, how the slave trade might have had an impact, um, kind of pointing out like holes in the argument that Pyrene made, um, saying that, okay, times change, and so goods that were traded changed when the Arabs took over the land that had once been the fallen Roman Empire. Um, they didn't want like goods that were produced in Rome before, but they wanted people. And it was funny in the article, he said, you know, Europeans might not have been good at producing goods, but they were good at producing people. And so that uh, helped facilitate the slave trade. So McCormick really pulled data from other sources and saying, hey, so this thesis, you know, we kind of see what's going on there, um, but here's why it might not be right. Um, Brown also points out holes in the, the argument of the thesis, but Brown really pays close attention to the way that Pyrene was able to reach his thesis, um, looking at more of an archaeological evidence as opposed to maybe like written sources. Um, and Brown was really the one who made it seem that this thesis really did have a big place. Even if you totally disagree with it and find holes in it like McCormick did, um, this thesis will still have a rightful place in history because it um, kind of sets the tone or almost like a precedent of how we can look at a topic that has been talked about forever and maybe think about it a different way just from pulling different sources because it's a big assertion to say, hey, I know the Roman Empire, you know, everyone says it fell here, but no, really it fell here. Um, and being able to pull that information together through archaeological sources was a big thing for the field. And so while Brown might not totally agree with this argument, he still says, hey, the reasoning is something that has a place in this field.